Good morning. Right, today I'm going to talk about being an influencer. Now, I have been very much inspired to think about this by several things. One, we do have a sort of useful number of people engaged with what we do across social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, even TikTok, and you guys here. And it occasionally inspires people to ask us whether we would talk about what they do. And I thought it was really worth explaining for those of you who might be in the business of encouraging people to talk about what you do uh, in order to spread the word about it. I'll tell you about how I think about whether I accept a proposition or not. Now, these are pants. They're very, very beautiful pants. I mean, really, they are very, very beautiful pants. They've never been worn. <laughs> and they are made by a company called Bed Straw, Bed Straw and Madder. And what Bed Straw and Madder are doing is they are making pants with dye they grow themselves, organic cotton, and special elastic, which is compostable. So this is... A, not only it's a very pretty little slinky pair of pants, or possibly not slinky, uh, jazzy perhaps, pair of pants, pretty certainly pair of pants, um, which I can put on the compost heap. So when they got in touch with me and said, would I ever be interested in talking about their pants? I thought that was quite bullish of them because they clearly had taken two seconds to look at my Instagram feed where I do have 33 plus thousand followers. So, you know, which isn't millions, but they're a very engaged audience who are interested in what we're doing. So, um, uh, hello, Instagrammers, if you're, if you're watching. <laughs> um, and so they had clearly, Best Royal Matter had clearly looked at what we do and thought, well, there is a, a relationship possibly between their organic pants and our locally grown flowers. And I replied and I said, you know, by all means, send me a pair of pants. But, you know, be aware that I'm five foot two, a comfortable size 16, which in America is even bigger, I think. Um, and a comfortable 16 and, and 54. And I haven't owned any makeup for possibly four or five years. I haven't worn makeup for longer than that. So I'm not your average model. <laughs> you know, I did used to work for American Vogue in Paris, so I know whereof I speak. I am not model material. However, these bullish people, and they, and and we are kind of in the market. I'm, I'm sort of looking for, in case any of you are that person, somebody who can sell me a a bolt, a big wadge of really good quality, organic, good canvasy cotton in denim blue. But it needs to be organic because I would like to make some aprons so I can do some merch. So you can all buy my aprons. But I am not in the business of sourcing fabric um, or even people who can make a hundred aprons. So this is a slow process. And so it's useful if I ask you, maybe you'll have the answer. Anyway, so that's what I replied to them. Thank you very much. Uh, by all means, send me your pants. But what I'm really looking for is somebody who can give me organic cotton uh, and make me some aprons. And you sound like you might be the kind of people. They very sweetly replied, we're not quite that stage yet. We've got some green linen, <laughs> which I'm sure it's very lovely, but, you know, our brand is very much sort of a denim -y look. So I'm looking for some organic denim -y, and possibly Bezra Mada one day will be able to come back with that. Um, anyway, so it is my pleasure for no payment at all to discuss what Bed Straw and Mada are doing, because I think what they're doing is a good idea. And um, I can see us eventually possibly working together. By law, if I wear these pants, um, I think I'm supposed to declare them as a gift on my income tax, which brings me to my next point. 
if, as I was the other day, you email me and you are a company I know nothing about. So, for example, the other day I was emailed by a jewellery company and they said, we love your YouTube and we would really love it if we could send you some of our jewellery and you could share with your followers what you think. And I had never heard of this company in my life. Um, so I replied and I said, uh, well, I would be happy to uh, open a package from you and share with my followers what you think for a fee. And the fee is X. Um, and they replied, oh, no, 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 we don't work like that. What we do is we send you some jewellery and you can keep the jewellery. And that's the payment. So I wrote them a really, really nice letter. And in fact, I had quite a long um, correspondence with their young fellow who, which is very patronising of me to say that he was young, but um, I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> there were ways of being able to read the, <laughs> read the emails that uh, uh, suggested that this person was younger than I. Um, and I replied and I said, the thing is, I'm running a business. I'm not uh, talking about flowers for fun. I mean, I, I like talking about flowers. I, you know, I love my, my garden. It is fun, but I'm not talking about it for fun. I'm talking about it because I'm trying to make a living. And so if you send me some jewellery, and by now he was offering me $100 as well. So I was like, okay, so you send me some jewellery and $100 and I, I get an electricity bill. Can I then uh, send the jewellery to the electricity company and say, I'm really sorry, I haven't earned any actual money. So can you accept this jewellery in exchange for my electricity bill? Yeah, obviously not. Um, so I think it's really worth uh, anybody thinking about using influencers. Please don't, and I'm old enough and ugly enough to kind of say, thanks very much, but no thanks. And also, I quite enjoy the academic discussion about what it is to be an influencer and why people would pay you money or not, or, or not pay you money, pay you in goods to tell people that they liked your jewellery, for example. Um, if you are a person who is considering contacting anybody, then I would really, really look at their YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, whatever it is, and really consider whether that person actually is the kind of person who's going to be, they don't necessarily have to like what you do, but have the time and a business model which allows them space in which they can consecrate the kind of time that you are definitely expecting them to spend on your product. So, for example, this cup. I'm always talking about Rachel Pedder Smith makes these beautiful cups. You see beautiful cups. I have to bring it closer to my face so that you can see all the detail. I mean, they're really, really lovely. And so I always talk about them. She's never paid me to say that I like them. I do like them. I like them because they're bone china. I like them because they take, you know, half a pint of tea. Mmm. I genuinely like them. She never, she's not going to pay me to say that. It's my pleasure to say it because it's a really nice product. There you go. Um, I'm inspired possibly to say all this today because my friend uh, Saskia, who's a neighbour in the village, um, makes flower essences. Look, in this little bottle is a bespoke flower essence. And I go and get a bespoke flower essence from her once a month um, because... Uh, like everybody, I expect, sometimes life is a little bit overwhelming and I find, oh, I'm doing too much, or the news is a bit scary, uh, or, 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 you know, a number of other things. Anyway, I never have the same ingredients in my bespoke essence, ever. Um, sometimes they kind of, they'll repeat two or three years down the line, but for example, this month, this has dandelion in it. And dandelion is all about taking your ideas and blowing them and seeing where the wind will take them. And so rather inspired by the dandelion, I thought I will talk about um, what it might be to be an influencer. 
I then mentioned on the old Twitter, I posted an absurd photograph of me holding up these really very nice pants from Bed, Straw and Madder. I do like these pants. They're soft, good quality cotton. Um, they're really very nice. I don't think I would look, look. Mmm. <laughs> yes, modelling them? I don't think so. Um, but I do really, really like them. So I mentioned this on the old Twitter and Alexandra Campbell of Ad Mid, at Mid-Sized Garden on here um, came back and said, and I said, I had said, I'm never going to make influencer status, status rather tongue in cheek, because look, here are these beautiful pants and the rest of the outfit models own. Um, and she came back and she said, actually, if you have 30,000 followers across the board on your social media platforms, then you definitely have influence, influence the status. Well, across the board, including our mail shop, we have about 95,000. So clearly, I'm not making enough of my influencer status. Thank you very much, Alexandra. I, um, uh, I shall be calling myself an influencer from now on, uh, definitely. Anyway, she said, you definitely have influence, influencer status because that is the bar. The bar is set at 30,000 30, people being engaged with you across the board. So I've got my influencer status. And which brings me up to my next thing. I'm sorry, I'm just having a little rant. No, I'm not having a rant. I'm just having a little chat. I was rung up by a glossy magazine on Friday. Very, very nice glossy magazine uh, in which I am happy, very, very happy to be featured from time to time. Uh, not, I hasten to add, Country Living UK, uh, who very kindly have given us a seven page feature in the April issue. Uh, so thank you very much, Country Living UK. This was a different magazine and it was the advertising department. And um, as we all know, the advertising department of ma glossy magazines, I know because I have worked at a glossy magazine, I was in editorial where we were much looked down upon on account of our small salaries. Uh, and we, in return, rather looked down upon the advertising department for having to be so commercial and hard hitting. Um, anyway, so when somebody rings me up from the, a glossy magazine and begins to talk to me about something that they're planning and they're good enough at it, that it takes me the first five minutes to understand that they want me to pay for advertising and not to write the thing. <laughs> At first I thought she was, I, eventually I said, I'm really sorry, are you asking me to write this thing or pay for it? And they said, oh, we will pay for it, pay for it. And I said, oh, okay, so you're looking for me to advertise this. Yes, yes, we'd like you to advertise. And this is another point I think it's really, really worth people knowing. If you call me and ask me to advertise, I am like any business. If I spend one pound on anything, which I'm then going to, I'm, I'm counting it as something that I'm going to sell, I want 100% back on that. So if I spend one pound on a ball of string and I sell it, I'll sell it for two pounds, which is why you buy lots of balls of string wholesale and then you can sell them for a profit retail. Um, anyway, this lady said that she wanted three and a half thousand pounds from me for this particular project that they were working on. And I missed the opportunity, um, but I've been thinking about it all weekend, so I thought I'd share it with you. If I were a person buying in the advertising, three and a half thousand pounds worth, plus I have no doubt VAT, um, I would expect seven thousand pounds worth of revenue on the back of that so next time somebody brings me up and says uh would you give us some money for advertising i will immediately say yes and what do you expect the return on that to be and i suspect sometimes the answer will be i don't know i think it's really worth thinking about for small businesses like mine um i may have a chunk of followers across the board for which I'm very grateful because you guys are helpful. You buy me coffees. I get a little bit of advertising from YouTube. I get badges from Instagram. Plus, you are my customers. You come on my workshops. And through you, I very slowly achieve my objective, which is to save the world one flower at a time. Uh, in order to do that, I am a flower farmer. And I teach a lot of people, not just to be flower farmers, but to grow flowers 
and to enjoy flowers and to make the most of flowers because the more they enjoy their flowers, the more they'll grow and the more the invertebrates. Remember the old saying, look after the invertebrates and the rest of the food chain will look after itself. Um, so that's my, that's what I want out of everything. That's the point of what I'm doing. So if that point resonates with you and your business, by all means, get in touch. But please bear in mind, I am not going to advertise what you do in exchange for a small amount of whatever your product is. I will ask for a fee because the time it will take me to make the clip or unpack the box or have an opinion about whatever it is that you do will inevitably be about a day. And so I will not be able to do what I would otherwise be doing on that day. And I will need to be paid for that day's work. So by all means, send me products, but be prepared to collect them and take them away afterwards. And reviewing is paid work. Anyway, thank you very much. Uh, for your patience. This is a mug by Rachel Pedder Smith, who has paid me nothing. This is an essence filled with dandelion. Uh, so I'm sending this, I, these ideas out on the wind by at Saskia's Essences. Very, very fine. And back to the pants. Bed straw and madder pants. And Thank you very much to Alexandra Campbell of At Midsized Garden for telling me that despite appearances, I am an influencer. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon for, uh, for more uh, episodes when, when they come out. And you can always buy me a coffee if any of the tips and tricks in this video, like how to say no, <laughs> Uh, for example, or how to say yes, you know, somewhere between the two, um, have been useful. Thanks very much, and I will see you soon. Bye.